resolution. Amen. I don't have no New Year's resolution, but I have a New Year's solution. That's right. And if you're not saved, it doesn't matter how you live, because you're going to hell anyway. So my solution to you is to get to know Jesus Amen. for 2019. Get into a relationship with Jesus. I want to talk from a topic today. Nothing in, nothing out. Amen. If you put nothing in to the kingdom, you get nothing out. And I want you to listen carefully. And I'm not going to finish. Look to the next day, you're not going to finish. I'm not going to finish. You got to come back next year to get part two. But I want to give you the introduction. No New Year's resolution, only a solution. Get to know Jesus. Listen, God has already made an investment in every human being by sending his son Jesus to die in our place and redeem us from the curse of the law and from eternal damnation. God has already made an investment in you all and in me by sending his son Jesus Christ to die for our sins. To redeem us from the curse of the law and eternal damnation. What is the curse of the law? That the wages of sin is what? Death. That when you sin, something must die. That's the law. If you sin, then something has to die. The wages of sin is death. And all the Bible said, all of us have sinned. David said, we born into a negative. That's why you don't have to teach a kid how to do wrong. You got to teach them how to do what? Right. That's why we used to get whippings. Because we naturally do what's wrong. You don't have to teach a kid how to lie, how to be deceiving or dishonest. It comes from natural. It's part of the curse that came upon Adam and Eve when they disobeyed God willingly. Amen? Amen. So you got to teach a kid how to do right, not wrong. And jealousy is all these sins are born into our generic makeup. Amen. And to be honest with you, we naturally don't just obey God. We used to. Before the fall, God would come talk with Adam and Eve in the cool of the day, the Bible says. But when they listened to the devil and ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, their eyes were open and they knew they was naked. And all these curses and sin and death came upon them. And God cast them out of the garden. And we born, everyone that's born of a woman is, is born with the Adamic nature, which means you rebel against God. You do love God at times, but you naturally don't just obey God. You rebel against God because that's in you. It's like a dolphin. A baby dolphin don't know they're a dolphin. All they know, the minute they come out the womb with their mother, they swim in the ocean. It's natural for them. Amen. You don't have to teach a spider how to make a web. She's born from a spider. She's born how to make a web. You don't teach a frog how to hop. You don't teach a devil how to sin. You're born a sinner. Sin is what you do. It just comes naturally. But when you get born again, watch this. Jesus is the second Adam. When you get born again and God touch your spirit and the Holy Spirit comes to live in you, you naturally just do what's right toward God. Amen. Worship is an experience and it's easy because I'm born again. That's what it means to be born again. It means to be changed from the inside out. You still have the same temple, but you have a new inside. So, if you make no investment in the kingdom, nothing in, nothing out. Don't expect to get nothing out of it. I can't go to Wells Fargo Bank and say, yeah, I want to pull out a hundred dollars. So what's your name say? I don't have no account. I just want to pull out the and say, call the police. How <laughs> <laughs> do expect to go be with the Lord if we living in this world, we've been giving this time in order, we made no investment. Listen to what the word investment means. It has many definitions. It means a devotion, using a giving of time, talent, emotional energy as for a purpose or to achieve something. What am I trying to achieve? I want to be with Jesus when I leave here. So I'm investing in him. Amen. And you got to make an investment now. It's not too late. You're still going to be able to party. You're still going to be able to do what you need to do. You're just going to do it with a different attitude. People going to think you're weird now. Amen. That means you've been born again. Amen. 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 
And nobody, no preacher going to have to preach to you and tell you how to live. I'm going to teach you the word of God and the word going to convict you and then you're going to know how to live. That's right. When I first joined the Liberal Baptist Church next to my house, the pastor didn't tell me to get rid of my movies. The movies wasn't no bad move. But my interest in them failed. So I just threw them away. I had them, but I wasn't watching them. My interest failed. I found myself reading my Bible more and watching TV in a little more when I first got saved. Amen. Amen. So I've been walking with the Lord a while. You've been walking with the Lord a while. And if you feed the spirit that's in you, Amen. you're going to want more and more. But if you don't feed the spirit, whichever one you feed, that's the one you're going to want to serve. And that's the one you're going to complete. Amen. Amen. So you got to starve the flesh, feed the spirit. That's right. Starve the flesh, feed the spirit. Right. Amen. Amen. God has already made an investment in you. In the wages of sin, you don't have to turn it, just listen. Romans 3.23 says, all have sinned and come short of the glory. Yeah. I know you say, well, I don't do what so-and-so do, but it ain't enough to get in. Whatever you do is not enough to get in without Jesus' help. So it don't matter what you do. And there are some little sins and great sins. But there is one sin that if you commit, God won't forgive you in this life or the world to come. And that is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. For the wages of sin is what? Yeah. Death. When you sin, something has to die. Death comes in, listen, death comes in two forms. Natural death and spiritual death. What is natural death? The word of God says, from dust you are, and dust you shall work. That's natural. But now Jesus can save you from both of them. What is spiritual death? <laughs> According to the word of God. The lake of fire is the second day. The lake of fire. Once you get to the lake of fire, you stay there forever. That's the second day. That's right. But Jesus can save you from them both. Well, how can Jesus save me from them both, Pastor? When you just said the natural death is dust you Because Jesus said those that are dead are not dead. They sleep. Because yeah, right. he's going to wake them up. Uh -huh. If you dead, I can't wake you up. Right. Nope. He's going to call your name. And if you were saved when you went to sleep, he's going to wake you up. Mm -hmm. Lazarus was in the tomb. They say, Jesus, he dead. He been dead three days. He's stinking by now. He said, Lazarus, come forward. And he came forward in the grave clothes. Mm -hmm. And he commanded the grave's clothes to loose him. Mm -hmm. That's right. But if you're not saved, you're going to still come forth because when he called, you got the answer, but it's only to be judged and then return back to the grave. Right. So some of us are going to have two funerals. Yeah. If we don't make no investment. Amen. <laughs> God is showing me in the spirit what's going to happen. You're going to have a natural funeral, that's the coffin. Right. And then you're going to have a second funeral with the old devil and the fallen angel in the lake of fire. Yeah. If you don't make. Now, watch this. Watch this. This gets heavy. There are two forms of death natural and spiritual. Mm -hmm. And God only appointed. One dead to you. Yes. And that's the natural death. That's the only one that God said we all got the faith. But the second death, you control it based on how you live. That's right. But you can't avoid the first death, which is now. It's appointed unto man once to die, then after that, what? The judgment. Mm -hmm. Now, when you leave here, God will say, Hey, how you doing, Brother Smith? Uh, I see you have arrived on time as planned. Let's see if you have kept the commandments. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I tell my what is the command? Uh oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we know about, we know more about Jay Z and Beyonce. We know the anniversary. We know the, the baby name, mm -hmm. the, the zodiac sign, the first album, how many tickets were sold at the last concert. Mm -hmm. But we know nothing about Jesus. Mm -hmm. See, we read, but we're not reading what's beneficial to us. Amen. Amen. There are two forms of death, natural and spiritual. Listen, I'm not giving you a lot of scripture today because I'm just doing an introduction. So when I do part two next week, you don't even want to miss it because I'm going to let you look at the word. Right now, I'm just building my foundation. God does not send anyone to heaven. God don't send nobody to heaven. Well, how we get there? It's based on your choices and your investments. What you do now, you're going to pay for later. God does not send anyone to hell automatically. Right. 
is based on your choices and your investments. So if you made the right decisions, they make it mean you made perfect, you had a perfect life. It mean you made the right decision. Because Jesus, see, this, this is why I got saved when I found this out. Jesus died for all my sins. The ones you know about and the ones you don't know about. Look to next see everybody should shout on that. Amen. But people tell you what they want to tell you. They ain't gonna tell you what you need to know. They're gonna tell you what they want you to know. He died for my sins and I don't have to go to hell. Because Jesus paid it all. Yes. He died for my sins and yours. And he don't send you to heaven automatically. You're gonna have to do some labor too. Whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be what? You gotta call on him. Jesus came not into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be what? Saved. So why everybody can't be saved if Jesus died for the world? Because everybody don't want to be saved. Because everybody don't want to be part of them to be saved and to go to heaven. That's why. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is what? Condemned already because he didn't believe in the only begotten Son of God. Question is, where are you making your investments today? Where are you making your investments today? Nothing in, nothing out. Provisions have been made for us all to spend eternity with Jesus. So are you taking advantage of the opportunity you have been given today? Church is to aid you, to bring you to Christ. A real church is going to connect you with Jesus. I don't care about if your business grows. Churches in the business doing everything. Growing people, business, lowering their careers for all. Getting them to lose weight, but they're still going to hell. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna go to hell rich, successful. Cute, and low cholesterol. But in hell. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Those are false prophets. What she's talking about. Those are pastors, but they devil pastors. Mm -hmm. They're about greed. They're about numbers. Uh -huh. They're about money. Yes, we need money for the church. How are we going to help the poor if we don't have no money? Right. But money is a ministry. Right. Amen. I don't need a $200,000 car mm -hmm. to go to Walmart no. or Family Dollar. Yeah. My wife don't need that to go get raw. Mm -hmm. Call me, tell me somebody hit over the head, took the car from right. That's foolishness. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Right. If I had $200,000, $200, we'd be in the building. Thank you. Paid for. Right. Now I ain't gonna get no fifteen hundred seat and ain't gonna have a five for one. We are gonna build as we go. Right. <laughs> when we try and impress. Right. <laughs> right. Amen. 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 I can't afford a camera crew right now. Look at them say got YouTube for free though. Keep me talking, but God bless me. You ain't gonna do nothing if you ain't already doing it. Amen. We're gonna be able to look at when on TV and say, "Remember when we had the old camera?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. The old cell phone recording the video. God said, "You gotta be faithful where you are." Right. Right. Somebody told somebody, "You marry me, I'm gonna get it right." No, you ain't. You your girlfriend. You treat her right now. Open the door for her now. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Listen, when you date, it's just showing you what you will be hooked up with for the rest of your life. Yeah. Everybody tells who they really are on a date. And if you do like I did, if you shack, you really find out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. If I could write a law, I would, I would write a law where you have to renew your vows every three years. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you don't renew them, you automatically divorce. Because mm -hmm. you got some people standing together for the wrong reason. Yes. Amen. And nobody yes. said God didn't call us to be miserable. Right. He called us unto peace. Amen. Amen. If you make no investment into the kingdom of God, why would you expect the return? It's amazing how some will not serve God, but desire his blessing, his protection, and his provision. Let's change that today. Let's change that today. Let's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Save yourself and possibly all your family, friends, and loved ones. Give the Lord a hand clap. Nothing in, nothing out. We'll have to come next week to get part two and then we'll get the scriptures to back up everything I told you this morning. Amen.